The U.S. and the rest of the world saw a lot of climate change fueled extreme weather this year. Communities braved dangerously high temperatures, record-breaking days, while others saw flash floods and horrendous hurricanes. Earth isn't ranking these disasters, but let's look at some of the notable extreme weather events for this year. In April, we saw the start of the Hermit's Peak Fire. It was set as a controlled burn in New Mexico by the Forest Service. It grew and eventually joined the Calf Canyon blaze on April 19th. It eventually became the largest wildfire in New Mexico's history. And about a month later, over in Yellowstone National Park, there was the heavy rainfall event, which is normal across the US for the summer. But this rainfall was so bad, it created dangerous flooding and landslides throughout the park. Roads were severely damaged, bridges were washed away, and there's even a video online where a home in Montana collapsed into the Yellowstone River around that week. The national park actually had to shut down for the first time since 1988. And then, in late July, a lot of St. Louis, Missouri was dealing with flash flood. There were thunderstorms that dropped about two inches of rain per hour over the city on July 26. This sparked flash floods. Residents had to be rescued by emergency workers because they were stranded by the floodwaters throughout the city. The thing is, we know that flooding, wildfires, heat waves, all these things, they already exist in nature, right? But climate change takes them and makes them more extreme. So all in all, climate change takes what we know and makes it harder to deal with by making it more extreme. And 2022 was a big lesson on that. Thank you for watching Extreme Earth. We're sorry that we have to constantly remind you about all of this. 